Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will install and learn to use Yoast SEO plugin. We will be using the free version. Let's get started. For more WordPress content, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. So, we will be installing Yoast SEO to our website. Let's learn WordPress.com. This is our brand new website. Let's log in to its dashboard, wp-admin. Enter the credentials. So we are in the WordPress dashboard. Go to plugins. So we will add the Yoast plugin here. Click on add new, or you can also click here. Search for Yoast CO. This is the one, install it. And activate the plugin. You will see this screen. Click on Start First Time Configuration. Click on Start CO Data Optimization. Continue. Site representation, its organization. Write the name. You can use your logo. Save and continue. If you have Facebook, Twitter or others, please add it. But we don't have one, so we'll leave it blank. Save and continue. On personal preference, no, I don't want to track site data. If you want a newsletter, you can add your email here and send it. Save and continue. Finish configuration. You can register, but let's visit the CO dashboard. I will mark this notification as read. So it is hidden. Let me close this too. Not let us explore. Here is features. You can leave it to default. Integrations is a premium feature. Webmaster Tools, we will set up, up this later. Again, this is a premium feature. And this one is done. Anyway, now click on Search Appearance. Choose the separator you like. I prefer this one, but you can choose any. Here, choose the site title, separator, and tab line. Write a meta description for your website. I will simply copy it from the website and customize it. Social settings, choose an image. I will go with the logo. Make sure the image dimension is 200 by 200 pixels. Write the social description. Note this title, description, and the image will be linked to your homepage when the link is shared on social media. So this was configured earlier. Save changes. Now go to content types. I want it to be on a search results, so it is on. For the title, I will delete the page. For me to description, We'll use excerpt, percentage, and excerpt. Likewise, for the page it is on. Delete the page on the title and add an excerpt. This Davia is from the theme, so is not necessary to be found. We'll turn this off. For portfolio icons, we'll do the same. All done now, save changes. On media, let this be the default. Leave it to default. You can use excerpt here. And save changes. This is a premium feature. For tags, leave to default. Just add excerpt. For formats, do the same. 
For the portfolio, do the same. And save changes. On archives, add the excerpt. Do the same for all here. And save changes. Reframs, you can leave it to default. For the RSS feed, you can copy this. It's for content to put before each post. And also paste the post link. And save changes. So these are all the basic settings for Yoast. You can choose what to be found on the web or what not. Now let's understand how you should use Yoast on your posts. Go to Posts. Here are a couple of posts. Let me duplicate this post to explain further. I am using a plugin to duplicate posts. Anyway, whenever you post anything, you need to make your content SEO friendly. Let me open it. So this is one of our posts. If you scroll down, you will see this Yoast SEO section. If this is not visible, click on Screen Options. Make sure this is ticked. And this is for the excerpt. Anyway, so this is for the key phrase. Write the key phrase which focuses on this article. Let me write one, but be relevant to your post. So, this is the setup we did earlier. This is how it appears on search results. Here is the title, this is the separator, and this is the site title. Since this is red, let's write it ourselves. Please write the relevant title. In meta description, it is using excerpt. You can write your own. I'll copy the excerpt, but you can write anything. After this, click on SEO Analysis. Here are some problems and improvements for this post. These are all good. Title width, key phrase, slot, lint, internal links, etc. For the image, if you open this, always write alt text, title, caption, and descriptions. Make sure it's all written. Now let's fix key phrase in the CO title. Basically, this is the CO title. And this is the focus key phrase. Ghost recommends using the exact same key phrase on the title. I'll copy and replace it. So it is done. This is a premium feature. How your present content. You can get more information here and learn how you can improve the content. For outbound links, add a link to another website. Let me quickly add an outbound link for Namecheap. I'll open this in a new tab and save. So it's done. Now the key phrase in the introduction. This is the key phrase. Let me copy this and paste it in the introduction. Make sure the sentences make sense. Key phrase density, need to use it at least two times. So I will add the phrase to the bottom. Add the key phrase in the description. I will just rewrite the meta description again. It is fixed too. 
Now the minimum text Ford recommended is 300. So please increase the text length. For now, I will duplicate these texts. So it's done, except this one. You can see CO analysis is green too. So whenever you write blog posts, make sure you check the CO analysis to get a green CO and readability. So this is how you can install Yoast and use it for your WordPress website to make it CO friendly content. Hope this video helped. Thank you very much.